California's raging fires, the worst in the state's history this year and last. The 2018 Mendocino complex fire alone scorched 186,000 hectares. Parts of rural California are still burning. It's a global problem made worse by climate change, most experts say, and the effects are not subtle. We are literally seeing them play out in real time in the form of record heat waves, floods, droughts, and wildfires. Climate researchers say worldwide emissions of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases accelerate global warming. President Donald Trump is skeptical and announced the withdrawal from the 2015 Paris Climate Agreement, which aims to reduce emissions. He says the pact is ineffective and kills jobs. But climate researchers say something must be done to minimize the changes already underway. A warmer atmosphere can hold more moisture, so there's the potential for greater rainfall events, worse flooding. At other times, it leads to worsening fires and drought, a process the scientist says is fed by global changes to the Earth's wind patterns in the jet stream. All this has health effects, from pollutants emitted by fires to intense warming in the cities. There's a larger population living in urban areas, and um, actually more importantly, a larger vulnerable population living in urban areas. Researchers are already seeing more emergencies and deaths among the very young and elderly and poor. Higher temperatures, reduced water supplies, flooded highways, coastal erosion, and serious fires can be expected if nothing is done, says a recent California report. State and local governments and, um, and other players are taking this seriously, and I think that trend will grow as... Um, as climate change symptoms continue to uh, bubble up. An international summit in San Francisco will examine ways to reduce emissions and avoid the worst case scenarios, but protesters who have gathered there say it is not enough. Mike O'Sullivan, VOA News, Los Angeles.